Let us start our topic. May the grace of God be with you all those who want and remain to be biblical, but those churches which are not biblical are the ones who are boastful, proud, and very rebellious unto God that is why he should oppose them because they are not surrender to him their all. So many so-called Christians which are deceived or deceiver, we should beware of them who are not come to the knowledge of the truth. 1 John 4. 1. 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. How was the gospel first preached to Abraham? Question Paul says that the gospel was first preached Abraham. In Galatians 3.8. 16. What does this mean and what constitutes the true gospel that was preached unto Abraham? Answer the passage that you asked about follows. Galatians 3. 6-16 6 Even so Abraham believed God, and it was reckoned to him as righteousness. 7 Therefore, be sure that it is those who are of faith who are sons of Abraham. 8 In the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, preached the gospel beforehand to Abraham, saying, All the nations shall be blessed in you. 9 So then those who are of faith are blessed with Abraham, the believer. 10 For as many as are of the works of the law are under a curse. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who does not abide by all things written in the book of the law, to perform them. 11 Now that no one is justified by the law before God is evident, for, the righteous man shall live by faith. 12 However, the law is not of faith. On the contrary, he who practices them shall live by them. 13 Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us for it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. 14 In order that in Christ Jesus the blessing of Abraham might come to the Gentiles, so that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. 15 Brethren, I speak in terms of human relations, even though it is only a man's covenant, yet when it has been ratified, no one sets it aside or adds conditions to it. 16 Now the promises were spoken to Abraham and to his seed. He does not say, and to seeds, is referring to many, but rather to one, and to your seed, that is, Christ. From this passage, we learn the following. 1. Abraham was justified by faith, trusting confidence in an obedience to God, not by perfectly performing the law of Moses. He gave tithes to the high priest Melchizedek Genesis 14.20, and he surrendered to God all his belongings before he died Genesis 25.5, when he gave all of them to Isaac who is also servant of God. 2. To be saved, we, whether Jew or Gentile, must come to God by faith, Depending on his mercy and putting our trust in him, we should be added to the church which has passed the standard to be the house of God and surrender ourselves and belongings to him. So then we are surely saved by grace. 3. When the promise was made to Abraham that through his seed all nations would be blessed, God was saying that all, whether Jew or Gentile, would be saved through the sacrifice of Jesus. That is why they should do what is in. John 8 39 They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus saith unto them, If ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. 4. Trying to be justified by the law would mean that one would have to obey every precept, without fail. But we should do like first century Christians did in Acts 4 32 to 35 is surrendering ourselves and belonging so that we are saved by grace not by works, and we are become members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. Ephesians 5 30. Then it will surely be happened to us what is in. Psalms 133 1 to 3 1 Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. 2. It is like the precious ointment upon the head, that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garments. 3. As the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. Now we go to number 5 as we continue. 5. 
Therefore, there must be a way made for both Jews and Gentiles to be saved. This was accomplished by Jesus. 6. Therefore, when Paul says the gospel was preached to Abraham, he means that potentially the gospel was preached to Abraham, in the sense that it was revealed to Abraham that eventually all nations would be blessed through his seed, Jesus. 7. Today, the gospel is preached having come to pass in its full disclosure. We preach the death, burial and resurrection of Jesus and we call on all to believe, repent, confess and be baptized for the forgiveness of their sins. See Acts chapter 2. But those churches who do not practice what is in Acts 2 42 to 47 or rebellious house or synagogues of Satan mix with poor and rich people, they are under the law and cannot be justified by faith, so if they do not continue to perform all of the laws they will be accursed forever, it is better for them not to assemble together and go home in peace for they are like sheep without shepherd. God bless forever for all those who are added in the true church which passed the standard of God to be his house. They should be saved by grace, especially if those who died as martyrs for Christ. Peace and eternal good reward be with you forever. Amen.